you're gonna lose muscle, you won't have energy, you won't feel good, um, it's not good for you and that you need the food. The thought of me not getting food when I want it hurts. It's uncomfortable, but it shouldn't be. Sugar is big business, it's big industry, It's and there's lobbying to go on. It's just like the cigarettes. At one point in life, we were told that cigarettes don't cause cancer and don't kill you, and now everybody knows that they do. It's companies, you know, Pop-Tart companies, cereal companies, and like, feed your kids the morning breakfast to start the day. I am 100% Pro intermittent fasting because I think that it closely resembles how I would act in nature. People don't understand that over time, diseases, whether that's with your gut, whether that's cancer, any sort of thing, it has a huge role in the diet. And of course, people can be very healthy, but no matter what you're eating, your gut and your liver is still working. Your stomach, your brain, your body is still working. A lot of research is being done in cancer prevention, um, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's. If we're talking about intermittent fasting, you're still consuming the same amount of calories if you would any other day, but you're, you're consuming them in a window. It shouldn't be a sensitive topic. Like, we shouldn't be eating around the clock every single day. This is bad for us. So giving yourself a break is crucial to your life giving your digestive system a break. Don't knock it until you try it. When you actually do it and understand what it can do for you, drink a lot of water, have a lot of sodium, then it's gonna be a great outcome and you're gonna realize, wow, okay, maybe it isn't as bad as I thought. Oh.